AIOC may have taken the ham world by storm, but what if I was to tell you that things have gotten better? Hello hams and hams to be, Lucas WMBTR here, and this is the all-in-one board. And today we're going to find out exactly what it is. This, my friends, is the original all-in-one cable by Simon Cuppers. This little device brings audio in and out, serial communication, and simple push-to-talk to a radio over a USB interface. It's compatible with handheld radios that share the Kenwood jack by soldering Kenwood things onto here, Kenwood, um, 3.5mm and 2.5mm connectors. Now, this great functionality was largely limited to these handheld radios for a number of factors. Uh, firstly, these pads are easily designed for that type of connector, and adding on other connectors by a cable or something like that is a bit difficult. Uh, the pads are not clearly labeled, and a lot of functionality is shared on these pads. Additionally, the serial interface used for programming the radios, and on some radios controlling them from a PC, runs at 5 volts because that's the power supply that comes from the computer. However, most radios are designed for 3.3 volts, and this high voltage input can actually cause damage um, over time. So, we've sought out a solution, and here it is. This is the all-in-one board. This is based off of the same open hardware concept as the AIOC. It uses the same chip, supports the same firmware, but there are some key changes here. Now, firstly, you'll notice all of these pads are laid out very clearly on one side. They're also clearly labeled. And you notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's actually a total of 8 if you include this little tiny one right there. 8 pads on here. That's right, every single feature is separated onto its own pad, um, is clearly labeled, and is easy to solder onto. Now, why would you want this when the AOC here is designed to very easily just slot right into your Beofing radio or similar Kenwood controlled radio? Well, firstly, there are more radios than just these handheld radios. What if I told you that you could use this same awesome technology with something like an HF radio? or your mobile radio that's in your car. Additionally, one really major drawback that these AOCs had is that when they plugged into the radio, the data cable goes right next to the antenna. And it's a little bit of a finicky kind of uh, easy topsy-turvy kind of situation where you kind of need a right angle cable in order for it to not cause interference, and even then you need ferrite clips and all that. Now while ferrite clips still definitely come in handy in this case, this allows you to create a cable that goes to the radio, keeping the board completely separate. Um, and if you'd like, kept in a nice little box that can be 3D printed. Now this wonderful little device comes with the same benefits as the AAOC. Um, again, it shares the same firmware, it's open source code that runs on here, and this chip is kind of overkill for the project, allowing a lot of legroom for future additions to the code. Additionally, um, the serial communication on here goes through a, um, a voltage separator, bringing it down to a safe 3.3 volts for most radios. However, that's what that tiny pad is right here. You'll notice it's labeled very small 5 volt radio RX, which is what this transmits from. Um, and that is a little 5 volt pad that's backwards compatible in case you happen to have a 5 volt radio. There's not many out there, but there are a few. Um, but for most cases, you'll probably be using the radio RX located right there. I've been so excited to get these all-in-one boards out to you guys and working on it for some time, and I'm super excited with how it came out. Definitely going to be using it here for myself, too. Uh, we've got 40 available in the store. That's it for now, but it's just a small test run, so this is the time to buy, to try it out, and to give your feedback, because you can actually shape how the final product turns out, and I'm super excited uh, to see what that is. So get them while they're in stock right now, and then once these are all gone, we're going to do a bigger order with some final changes, with all that feedback kind of tied into there, and from there, uh, we hope to be filling a lot more orders. Um, so leave a comment down below as well. What do you like from it? What are your foreseen challenges with this? What do you want to see in a new one? Uh, what are some similar projects you want me to check out and, uh, and take, a, take a look at with you guys? Because I'd love to learn some more about what's new and growing in the ham community. This is so much fun to see all the new, uh, the new changes and the new ideas people bring in. Uh, again, big shout out to Simon Cuppers, the original designer of the AIOC. It's all based off of that original project. Uh, within the license there, so um, give that GitHub a shout out as well, and the AOC will still be available for sale as well, because for, for your standard uh, Beo things and stuff, it really does work pretty darn well. 
Uh, so I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Subscribing is the best way to support the channel. And keep an ear out for another video coming out soon. We're going to be showing off how easy it is to make a cable by doing one that I have here in the shop. So keep an eye out for that video. And we'll see you on that one. Thanks so much for watching. This is Lucas, W1BTR, signing off, 7-3.